Hey everybody, FireDog529. I uh, made a purchase today and I haven't seen anybody review it or say anything about it, so I figured I'd take the time to do it. Um, I've probably never mentioned it before, but I do roll my own cigarettes. Um, <clears throat> it is a huge money saver for me. Um, in the field that I'm in, I'm up for 24 to 36 hours at a time, and uh, most shifts I'm fueled by caffeine and nicotine, so uh, smoking for me got to be a very expensive habit. I tried quitting and the patches and the prescriptions and everything else, and I couldn't, uh, but I had to do something to cut the cost, so I uh, started rolling my own. And I, uh, first one I bought was this Topomatic, which I'm sure everybody's seen and used. Anybody that rolls them has probably used them before. Uh, works wonderful and did for about a year. Um, <clears throat> and now it's uh, gotten to where it hangs up after uh, just about every other cigarette. So I, uh, I don't put up with that for long. So, uh, anyway, today it got replaced, and I'll I'll probably take it apart and uh, clean every single little bitty piece inside of it and all that, and see if maybe uh maybe that's all it needed. But for the time being, I needed to roll cigarettes. So, um, I paid um, I think uh, around. Twenty-five dollars for this? No, twenty-nine. That's what it was. Twenty-nine ninety-nine. Um, it's a little awkward when you compare it to the uh, the Topomatic. Uh, the process is the same. The tobacco goes in here. You pack the corners first. The cigarette goes in there. <clears throat> you hold it, and it's it's grooves for your fingers to go in. You hold it after you pack the tobacco, and then you bring the lever over. So it's a little awkward when you first start using it, but um, I, I rolled a couple of them with it uh, just to start out with and I I like it. It's smooth. Uh, I can't do it nearly as fast on this that I could on the, the Topomatic, but I think that's just uh, has to do with muscle memory. Um, I'll probably get a little better at it. It, uh, it seems to be cheaper construction this is plastic and uh, most of the parts on this are metal so that's that's I guess that'd be one hit against the the gambler brand but we'll uh, we'll see how long it lasts and uh, I'll let everybody know for now I'm happy with it it rolls cigarettes really well it doesn't bind up it's got really smooth action it seems to pack the tobacco really nicely and uh, if I, if I remember right, I think it's just a, a little bit cheaper than the top brand also. Um, I, uh, everything I have now is Gambler. Uh, the Gambler tube cut and, uh, and this Gambler pipe tobacco. Uh, I pay $14.99 for a pound of the uh, pipe tobacco and about $2 a carton for the... Um, for the tubes and uh, you get about an average of about three cartons per pound if you do it right so um, you know say fifteen dollars for the, the pound of it and then another six dollars for the tubes and you're looking at uh, twenty one dollars for three cartons of cigarettes so seven dollars a carton that's a that's a huge savings over the the sixty dollar carton price of Marlboro's but uh, like I said, this is the first time I've used this. Um, if I have any problems with it, I'll do a follow-up video. But um, otherwise, so far I'm happy with it. Uh, I've just never seen anybody use one. So if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask. Uh, just thought uh, I'd share my what I got with everybody. I will talk to y'all later.